Welcome back to the second episode of Useful Websites for this year. If you missed the first episode, I'll throw a link in the description if you want to check that one out too. In this video, I'll show you 10 more websites in various categories that some of you may already know about, along with sites that you wish you knew about earlier. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. First up is IcoConvert, which can take any image on your computer and convert it into an icon to be used on a website or anywhere else that you need it. It's simple to use. Here's how you use it. First, browse your computer for the PNG, JPEG, or BMP image that you want to convert no larger than 50 megabytes. I'll just select the logo for this channel. Select Upload. Now you have the option to crop your image if you want to by just clicking and dragging out. Select the style for your icon. I'll go with this one here on the top row. The next step is to select the format that you want. The options are PNG, ICO, Favicon, or you can select a custom size. I'll go with 256 by 256. When you're ready, select Convert ICO. And when you're done with that, select Download Your Icon. And here's the icon I just created. If you quickly want to convert an image to an icon without having to learn how to use Photoshop or any other image editing software, IcoConvert may just be what you're looking for. FakeSpot analyzes reviews on the Amazon shopping site, Yelp, TripAdvisor, and the Apple App Store and gives a grade based on the credibility of those reviews. When assigning a grade to the reviews of a product, the scan includes verified purchase, writing style, and purchasing patterns, along with other factors. I primarily use FakeSpot with Amazon, so I'll show you how to use it with that site. When you're on the product page, copy the URL from the address bar, go back to the FakeSpot page, and paste the URL into their search bar, and select Analyze. Based on the analysis by FakeSpot, it has assigned a C grade for the reviews of this product. If you see a grade that is low for the reviews of a selected product, it doesn't necessarily mean that the product is bad as well. This page will also give you an analysis overview with additional information. At the bottom of the page, it will even show you reviewers it thinks are unreliable. If you need further information before making a purchase online, FakeSpot helps to separate out the good reviews from the bad ones. Get Link Info takes those shortened links from web pages to let you see the original URL and determines whether a website contains malicious software or is a phishing site using Google Safe Browsing. When you're on a website with a shortened link, for example, this site has a bit.ly link, copy it and then paste it on the Get Link Info site. Then do your search. You'll get a link information page that looks like this with the title and description, if there is any, the address of the URL hiding behind that shortened link, along with information letting you know if those links are safe. Get Link Info is now my go-to site for unmasking shortened links. Designer is an easy to use graphic design website that lets you create your own designs. They have thousands of templates to help you create posters, banners, social media posts, along with several other categories of templates. Designer includes many features including millions of images and thousands of vector art, stickers, and backgrounds. To start out, just pick which type of design that you want to create. If you scroll down the page, you'll see that you have many options. Just select the type of design that you want to create. You could choose to start from blank, choose one of the featured templates, or select See More. And then from the list, just select a template that works for you and then follow the instructions. It's that simple. Designer is free, but if you require more features, they do offer premium and business plans starting at $6.95 per month. Designer makes it easy to create your own designs that could be shared with others. Flixible makes it easier to browse the vast catalog of TV shows and movies on Netflix. As many of you know, doing a search on Netflix, either on their website or in their app, is not the most user-friendly. On this site to do a search, select movies or TV shows. I'll just leave it on movies. Select a genre. Let's go with sci-fi and fantasy. For rating, I'll go with seven plus. The sort by options are added to Netflix, rating, release year, and title. I'll go with rating. For the release year, there are two sliders to refine the years that will be searched. 
I have it circled from the year 2000. So I'll just drag it over all the way down to 2010. So I'll just drag this one to the left. When you're done, select Show Movies. Now you'll see a full list of movies based on your search. When you make a selection from this list, I'll select V for Vendetta. It will open a new page with more information about the movie or TV show. Selecting Watch on Netflix will open the Netflix website where you can view the program or add it to your list to watch later wherever you have the Netflix app installed. Flexible is currently available in the United States, Canada, Finland, Netherlands, and the United Kingdom, with more countries to be added soon. The Canvas Network offers free online courses and classes from the world's leading universities. You can do a search of their catalog for your area of interest or browse courses that are currently active or coming soon. I'd recommend the Canvas Network for those of you that are looking to learn a new skill or trade. By taking one of these free courses, you can at least find out if this is an educational path that you want to pursue before shelling out the big bucks at a college or university. While we're on the subject of education, Scratch is a free visual programming language and online community for children. It was developed by the MIT Media Lab for kids ages 8 and up. Scratch is often used to teach coding, computer science, and help with computational thinking. They have a lot of tutorials to help you or your child get started. Just select a tutorial. I'll select Make Music. Then just follow the directions along the right side of the page. Scratch is completely free and it's a great learning resource for children. Glassdoor is a job search site that also collects reviews from employees and former employees from those companies. Currently, they have ratings and reviews of over 600,000 companies worldwide. I'll show you a quick search. Enter a company name. Let's go with Microsoft. Make sure companies is selected and then enter a location. I'll go with their headquarters in Redmond, Washington, and then search. Here they are at the top of the list. Here you can get an overview of the company, reviews from current and former employees, see which jobs are available, salaries, tips from those that interviewed at that company, employee benefits, and photos. If you want to gather more information before seeking employment with a particular company, Glassdoor is a great resource. What Should I Read Next is a book recommendation site that analyzes their database of real readers to give you suggestions on what to read next. First, enter the title of a book or an author. I'll enter the title of a book by Stephen King called Joyland. Select it from the list. Now it shows recommendations that are similar to the book I entered by various authors. The next time you're having trouble finding a new book to read, check out What Should I Read Next. I'll leave you today with Drinkify, which is for you adults out there. The site is useful for getting suggestions on what to drink while listening to certain types of music. Enter an artist. I'll go with Bruno Mars. Then select, what should I drink? It recommends a drink called the Bruno Mars, which is 12 ounces of Hennessy and 12 ounces of coconut milk. Let's do a couple more by selecting, fix another drink. What should I drink while listening to Willie Nelson? If you're listening to Willie, it suggests eight ounces of Maker's Mark bourbon, served neat. And for Justin Bieber, it suggests an eight ounce Red Bull, served on the rocks. But seriously, I'm not sure anyone still listens to Justin Bieber anymore, but I could be wrong. If you plan to visit this website, as it says in their slogan, please drinkify responsibly. Thanks for watching. All the links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of a website that you think would be useful for others, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click on the bell notification icon for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.